Today I went in for my second set of Botox um, injections for my migraines. Now, this time I felt every single solitary needle before it felt like little pinches and it was nothing to it. And I was like, oh my God, why am I feeling everything? And he said, because he was, well, I'm sorry, he asked me, did I have a migraine? And I said, yes, coming in, I did. He said, well, that's why you feel it and that's why it hurts. And I'm like, okay. But as you can see, the little dots right here, or you can see my little injections and stuff like that all in my head. And of course, it goes around and around the back, of course. Um, the pain was excruciating. Like, I felt like my head was bleeding out. I felt every single solitary needle. I wanted to just scream. So, he was like, do you want a shot? I'm like, I, yeah. Of course, I don't know what I'm getting a shot of, but... <laughs> shit. If a doctor is telling you you want a shot, he's giving you a shot of something good, obviously. And he put it in my arm, and, um... Needless to say, the Botox has kicked in, so the migraine is gone. And... The needle hurt going in because whatever medicine it was, it was a big vial. It wasn't just like a little shot. So I know it wasn't Imidrex. It must have been morphine because I'm high as a kite. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. So if you do get um, chronic migraines and you are going in for your series of shots make sure that you take your medication for your migraines that's what i did last time and i guess that's why i didn't feel the shots um going in but i didn't do it this time and when i was in the uber i checked my purse and i didn't have my Imatrex, my tylenol 4 or my xanax so, I felt everything. And last time, of course, I didn't have braids in my hair. But, of course, he's done over, what, 20,000 procedures. So, I'm sure he's got a few African-American clients. They understand. You know, he got around them. <sighs> he just had to go super fast because I was feeling every single. And I didn't want to wipe away the blood until well until I kind of showed you guys the entrance of some of them um you know but I'm good I'm happy um I got the last set of Botox on December um 20th and it wore off about January 31st, which was like right after my birthday. So pretty much nine weeks and I have to wait 12 weeks to get my shots. And he was like, the first set usually wear off faster um, because it's the first set. So now this is set two. Um, it should actually last the 12 weeks. So I'll see him again in 12 weeks. And we'll do this process again. Except I will be smart and take my Imatrex, Xanax, and Tylenol 4 all at once before arriving for my appointment. Or as I wait to be seen. Because this pain here ain't happening again, baby. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't take my life. Whew. Yeah. Hmm. And then this pain in the arm. I don't even. I really don't even know what he gave me. I don't. But hey, you take it. Take the good with the bad. And yes, I did have a hemoplegic migraine while uh, waiting for my um, shots. Uh, he tested me for a stroke to make sure it wasn't a stroke. 
and it was just the hemophilic migraine doing what it does which is pull at my face and it's starting to do it now as I talk to you so and and it's and it's that This is very... This is very... Frustrating. This is why I have it work. And, and, and who you 